Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and welcome to Vlogmas week two. So we are officially into the second week of December. Super exciting. Trying to get super festive. Trying to just, you know, navigate um, a little bit of holiday stress. I think everyone kind of has a little bit of holiday stress here and it's just even harder, you know, with the current situation. So just kind of dealing with that this week and then also um, I had a really, really terrible situation with a professor, um, but I don't want to get like super into it, but basically I had to do some extra work regardless of my current grade. It's just like a whole situation, but I literally, so I just finished that yesterday. Grades are due tomorrow. The semester ended two weeks ago. I have been going back and forth with this professor for, you know, weeks now. So, um, yeah, that really put me in a bad mood all week, and yeah, I don't know if I'll get too into it, like, I kind of want to keep it positive here, but I also am a ranter, like, I feel better when I rant it out, so, I don't know, maybe you'll hear that story, maybe you won't, if not, just know I'm trying to get in better spirits, so I'm gonna do something that I talked about in Vlogmas week one, which was hot gluing my pom-pom wreath I made, finally, planned for today, and um, I'll show you like what I did, and then the finished product, like I'm a little nervous about how it's gonna go. But anyway, so I'm excited to do that, and then I'll show you how I make my pom-poms, I guess, because it's something I've started doing and it's really fun for me. It's not like a mindless activity in the aspect of you can just kind of do it like, you know, when you're scrolling on your phone and just looking at Instagram or something, that's just kind of like a mindless thing you're doing and you're just vegged out. And, you know, you have to be thinking about your next step in a way, but it's just kind of more relaxing and honestly, I think it's more productive than just being on my phone so it's something I've enjoyed doing and um yeah it's part of my uh DIYs that I've done this Christmas which I'm going to share in my home decor uh tour so that's going to be a separate video from this vlog and I think I'm going to film it tomorrow it's basically what we're doing today for the rest of the week I'm unsure, but I want to keep getting festive because like I said, I'm wanting to stay positive and not let the stress take over me <laughs> this week or any week for that matter. Like I'm just trying to be in the holiday spirit. It's just, it's hard. I think some people can agree that it's hard this year um, for certain things. I know I mentioned in the first video, it's not like I... I'm not upset about not being able to like go out and do certain things, but also I am. Like I'm not worried about not being able to like go out to restaurants and things like that. It's just more about like not being able to see people or dealing with, you know, that kind of stuff. So this was a long intro um, talking about myself, but I'm gonna get ready and lay down some paper for my hot gluing and then I'll show you the overview of the wreath and then we'll go from there. Okay, here is my wreath. Sorry for that shaky start. Um, It's a bit colorful, but I like colorful and I know this isn't everyone's taste. And um, you know, you with pom-poms, you can make it any way you want, really. These two go right here, but as you can see, I tied them onto uh, this, like, it's one of the floral, like, stem poking in wreaths. I don't know. I'm new to the crafting world, so <laughs> bear with me on terms. And uh, I don't know how well the hot glue is going to stick to this. I didn't have, like, the other wreath ring that... Uh, most people would use when making their own wreath, but it's fine. Like we're gonna make it work, but hopefully it, the hot glue does stay. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this works out. So like I said, I tied them around. I just need the glue more to really stay because when I hold it up, they kind of fall back and stuff. So my glue gun doesn't fully reach over here. So I'm gonna have to kind of stand awkwardly between the table and the oven. So 
Um, I'll just kind of show you how it looks in the end, but that's I'm what I have to do with it. So after I glued it, so I basically just like went in and glued the inside. I had flipped it over to glue this part just to make sure it was sticking. I just didn't want any of the green to show. And then I've been kind of just fluffing it some more to make sure there's no like strings of the hot glue. I've tried to pull all that off. And then I also, I'm so sorry the lighting is changing. It's the window I'm by. Um, but yeah, so then I'll show you how the back looks because I did cut all the string off that uh, was around it because I don't want it to be super visible. So here is how the back side looks. Um, I did just glue like right here. I glued it on just so it was sticking and I wanted it to face out a little bit more and then yeah. So I originally tied them on like with the green yarn Um, this yarn is thicker and it was able to hold the pom-pom in place more so um, I didn't really have to glue that and I also when it came to these I just glued where it felt appropriate when it came to like the colored pom-poms um, some of them were in place pretty well but um, like this green I mentioned on the back it stayed well some of them were not sticking well so that's where I glued but some of them I didn't so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I don't love my color choices, but I was just going pom-pom happy when I was making this, but in the end, I'm pretty happy. She is in all her finished glory. I have been working on this for a while. I mean, I pretty much finished it up at the end of November, but I don't know why I haven't glued it. Uh, sometimes I hold off things, even things like this that are simple make me happy because I still get a little anxious about how it's going to turn out right about how the sun is going to be coming in over my face but i wanted to show you how i make my pom-poms because i've been going you know pom-pom crazy so i got the kit at michael's no maybe i got it at joann's michael's i don't remember i think it was michael's i have a bigger size but this is the one i used for my wreath and I think it was like $7 and I know you can get them on Amazon as well. Like Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's. Like I did, my yarn also came from Michael's. I got a bunch of it when they were having a sale of buy one, get one 50% off. Buy these pom pom makers. This is what they look like. And then um, you kind of just pull them apart. And I've seen people do it a little differently than how i'm gonna do it people will take the yarn if they're i think mostly if they're doing one color they'll just wrap around and then bring it like kind of flip it you know what i mean and then bring it over so i'm gonna use two colors today the yarn i'm using right now i got this from walmart like, it was like two or three dollars so affordable you can get yarn from basically um anywhere walmart has a ton of options as well but I think if you go to a craft store, you're gonna have uh, more variety, but Walmart does have a pretty good variety. Kinda put my finger over the yarn right here. Like I put it in this spot and I, I line it up, but you don't have to. And then I just start wrapping around it until the yarn is Around until that piece is covered and then I'm just gonna wrap so that much then I just cut it and I'll cut it so I'll show you the, the end okay so now I'm adding my next color which is just like a mustard yellow then how I do it is I line it up with the string I just cut it's really hard to show at this angle and the lighting is coming in weird so I'm really sorry but I just start wrapping so it's wrapped around and you can't see like the tail of the white yarn if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna... So then, now it's pretty full and when I was talking about don't be afraid to like go heavy on it, I meant like kind of just like when you're wrapping around to this point. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just like go like this and then I will cut along here. All right, so I cut, I'm gonna fold it under. And push it down. And I just flip it upside down, open the clasp, 
and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, starting with the white and then adding um, the rust. Done with that one, so I will just close it back up. The next step, and I'm just using these kitchen scissors because they are sharper than my craft scissors. <laughs> my cat just came down and she loves when I get the yarn out. can't get this to focus and if I keep doing the beauty guru hand I feel like it's gonna be annoying but there's like these lines here on the clamps you're gonna cut along I'll try and show you the best I can okay so I just go in and then I start snipping away I'll show you for comparison here's where I cut along versus the other side and you can see that it's starting to make the pom-pom and here it is after I cut along the line and now I need to tie it together. It doesn't matter what color of yarn you use because no one's gonna see this part. I'm just gonna use white today. What you do is you put it into those uh, creases that you just cut through and then I kind of just pull it tight. Pull it tight enough so that I can like hold it like it's hanging and then I'm gonna knot it. I'm gonna knot it like three times now so here's the first just pull really tight then I'm gonna do that two more times just because um, it makes me nervous it's not gonna work okay so now I have gone three times you so here is what we have now it's just hanging and now I'm going to open up these pieces and then you just pull it apart I was like super nervous to pull it apart the first time and then I just kind of like roll it around there's like fibers flying everywhere fibers on my shirt but um yeah so then I just kind of fluff it out and this is what I have and trim it down to make it like as fluffy or messy as you want I kind of like when it looks messy but I just go like this to kind of trim it and make it all even um, if you are doing this, it makes a huge mess. So I usually do it over a bag. Um, right now I'm doing it over some of the newspaper that I was hot gluing. Probably get the point of trimming something. So I'm going to let mine be a little messy. I'm just kind of evening it out. But you can make it look, you know, a certain type of way if you keep cutting. So... Then I just fluff again. It's probably unnecessary to fluff this much, but I just like to kind of see how it looks. Okay, here is the pattern I have made. And then for this part, then we have our string and I just go in and I cut it off. And there you have it, that's how I make pom-poms and it's something I love now and yeah it's just been a fun little crafting activity that I have started so there's that and yeah I hope it was not the worst tutorial in the world but I'm sure it was borderline <laughs>
Today is technically Monday and I would be going into Vlogmas week three today. However, um, I only filmed like two days um, in the last week because those were the only two days I did something. I finished my wreath and then I also uh, made my favorite uh, puff corn like Christmas dessert. I'll show you up close. I made this for the first time last year and it's just puff corn with white chocolate and sprinkles, but this stuff is so addicting. Well, I like to make that every year, so I did that, and I'm gonna make sugar cookies tonight. Um, we got a ton of snow here on Friday night into Saturday, and we basically just had a snow day of just chilling out, didn't do anything. Um, yesterday we went to a couple stores to do some Christmas shopping and I need to finish my Christmas shopping today or I'm at least hoping to because I'm just tired of checking my bank account and seeing how much money I need to spend and how much money's left and I also just want to get it done not have to think about it for the next couple of weeks. I also uh, I wanted to get my Christmas shopping done like between the end of November and the first like week or two of December but it didn't happen and I wish I would have just done it because I just want to be done and I don't really want to have to go out if I don't need to and I know it's not necessary to go out to the store. I can order online but there are some things I have to pick up in store and um, yeah, I'm taking precautions and everything. It's just so crazy um, that we're still dealing with this, but we're trying to be safe. That's basically what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna do a little Christmas shopping and then make some sugar cookies. And I just wanted to finish out this week's vlog today. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are all enjoying and I am sure you all were hoping the straight hair would make another appearance this Vlogmas and we are straightening it again. Um, <laughs> It's just, I try not to straighten it that much also, even though I like how it looks because my hair is very dead and going back to, you know, the times of 2020 and everything, um, I don't want to go get my hair done. Um, I admittedly did in June because it had been so long since I had had a haircut or had my hair colored and I just wanted to feel better because my hair was so dead and everything. And, um... I did feel better and while everyone took precautions and it felt safe uh, in the salon, it was something I realized I don't, I, it's something I can live without even though I know I would feel better if I cut my dead ends off and everything, but it's something I don't have to do and I know I don't even have to explain myself, but it's just, I've been thinking a lot about a bunch of different things lately and that's one of them and um, yeah, that's that. So let's go Christmas shopping, get it done, wrap some gifts, and wrap up this week's Vlogmas. So I hope you guys have enjoyed everything up to this point, and we're just going to finish this day up, and then I'm going to start filming week three of Vlogmas. So here we go. Okay, so I finished my shopping. Um, I didn't show any of it because... I was trying to get in and out as fast as I could and now I am baking cookies. I'm doing two batches. I'm going to do, you know, traditional with shapes and frosting. But first, I'm just doing like round cookies and this is what I'm going to do with them. Extra sugar cookied up and I'm putting these sugar cookie kisses that have taken over my life this year in the middle. So I will try to show you how those look when the first batch comes out of the oven. And then I'm gonna just do, you know, another pack and do shapes. I've got my cookie cutters in here. They're kind of massive, but I do have some small ones. And this is just the frosting I'm gonna use and I will add food coloring. I don't know if we've ever tried making our own recipe or our own frosting. It's something I would like to do in the future, but for now this is just how I'm doing it because it's easier. So I will show how those cookies turn out and everything and then I'm just going to end this. So I just want to thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the last couple weeks of Vlogmas and if you did don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in my next video.